Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a video on my laptop and tablet collection. And you may be wondering, why am I doing this? Well, I made a video like this a long time ago, and I thought it would just be kind of cool to update it because I also have no other content to upload at the moment, so I thought, why not? So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with my tablets, and I'm going to go on to my laptops. I do not have a PC or anything like that, as I just don't find it necessary. In fact, i rather use a laptop because of the portability. So yeah, there's that. So starting off, we're going to start with, I guess, this. Um, the only reason I kept this is because it's, I wouldn't say it's iconic to my channel, but it's like kind of channel mem memorabilia, <laughs> if that makes sense. This is a iPad first gen 32 gig, and it was shot with a bullet. And I found it like this in the target bin, but it had a screen when I found it. Um, so yeah, I just kind of kept this as channel memorabilia, I assume, or I guess. So yeah, so moving on to working tablets, actually. Um, starting off, this is a Kindle Fire, uh, or Amazon Kindle Fire, third generation, um, HD7. It's a 8 gigabyte and it works perfectly fine. This is actually my old personal tablet and it's almost dead. Um, yeah, I used to use this thing. I, it was many years ago. <laughs> it was like when these things first came out and yeah, it still has all my stuff on it from when I was little. So yeah, I'm just going to shut it down since I don't use it. Obviously I just have it for memorabilia and, um, this is my little brother's cause he had the same one, eight gigabyte third gen. And I just kind of kept it. This one has a very bad battery. Um, it, yeah, and I just, I don't know if you guys saw that, it just went from 8% to 9%, so it, it's definitely weird. <laughs> so yeah, moving on to my actual tablet that I use. This is a iPad Pro. Oh, I scratched the case. Um, Yeah, uh, iPad Pro, first generation. It's a 32 gig on iPad OS 14.2. As you can see, oh, no you can't, yeah, 32 gig. Um, it's just a Wi-Fi model and I don't need much more than this for a tablet like storage wise or anything So yeah, um, I use it mainly for YouTube and then sometimes FaceTime. So yeah I'm just gonna shut it down. Uh, there's no issues with this at all. Um, uh, yeah Okay, so now we're gonna move on to laptops And I realize this isn't gonna be a very long video. I just thought I would make it so yeah <laughs> So starting off this is a Acer Chromebook 11 um this was my old laptop many, many years ago. Um, it It's very beaten up. It doesn't actually work anymore. The screen is broken and it's missing the uh, tab key. Yeah, tab key. Uh, yeah, it's just in not good condition. I don't know why I'm keeping this thing. I'm honestly probably going to try to sell it for parts for like $20 and just say the screen doesn't work. So yeah. Moving on, and I'm obviously going from bottom, from worst to best. This is um, my school laptop, actually, administered by my school. It's another Acer Chromebook 11, all this this one's black, and it's a touchscreen model. It's a full uh, convertible laptop. I'm actually gonna unlock it really quick to show you. It's nothing special, it's just, oh, it's just an Intel Tel or Celeron. It's really pretty, it's really bad, actually. Uh, two gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage, it's it's really bad. It can barely, barely even handle Zoom meetings. So yeah, so I'm just gonna shut that down. And then this is my old main laptop, kind of, well, no, but it this is the laptop I use for custom ROMing and Android software for like Android phones. And it's, it's kind of broken at the moment. Um, it, did it start working again? Yeah, it, it it boot loops on the, like when I tried to hold down the power button, it doesn't boot anymore. I don't know why, it had this issue before, it randomly started booting again. So I have no idea what's wrong with it. I think it's something RAM, um, RAM oriented or like something like that. So I don't know, I'll probably try bringing it into my computer class and see if my teacher can like swap the RAM for me or something. But yeah, I do still use this thing. It's a Lenovo IdeaPad S210 Touch. Um, it's got a newer Intel Pentium, 4 gigs of RAM, um, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive running Windows 10. I Yeah, Windows 10 Home. It, it's obviously not a very good laptop. I, that's why I literally just use it for custom ROMing, because it's perfectly fine for that. But not anymore, apparently. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can get this thing working again, because I do actually use this thing quite a bit. Okay, moving... Oh, 
put that the wrong place. Okay, moving on. This is a um, Samsung Tab Pro S. It's a Windows-based tablet, but I'm counting it as a laptop because it's essentially just like a Microsoft Surface, but made by Samsung. Let me unlock it. Um, yeah, this thing works perfectly fine. Let me see if I can try to focus on the screen. Oh, no, I do not want to run a security screen again. And I use this for um, school because I actually go to a technical education school, uh, which is completely different from my normal school. And I bring this with me every day. I use it um, for school. It's a pretty nice um, tablet, laptop thing. It has an AMOLED screen, actually. Um, it doesn't have burn-in, which is good. Um, and it has a Intel Core i3, or maybe an M3. It's I think it's an M3. A um, four gig no, eight gigabytes of RAM, a... 256 gigabyte SSD and Windows 10 Pro actually, which is pretty nice. So yeah, um, this thing works great. I literally just use it for school. I have not touched it since school. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna shut that down. Yeah, it's, it's just a nice thing to bring to school because it's nice and light and I would never bring this to school. So moving on to this, you may remember the unboxing video from this. This is a 2020 MacBook Pro 13 inch with touch bar. Um, it works perfectly fine. I bought it brand new from Apple to replace my old 2015 MacBook and, or 2015 MacBook Pro, and I love this thing. <laughs> I, hands down, this is like my favorite laptop I've ever had or like used. It's awesome. It's a um, 13 inch, like I said. It's running, and now I have updated to Big Sur, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like an iPhone. At least that's what they try to make it. Actually, I'm gonna shut off Bluetooth. I don't know why that's on. Anyway. um. So it's a um, Core i7 10th gen quad core, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 512 gigabyte SSD, and yeah, obviously running Big Sur. It's very nice, and I love the massive touchpad and the touch bar. It's it's just a great laptop, honestly. Um, it's a little pricey at two grand. I, w I will say that's very overpriced, but welcome to the world of Apple. So yeah, so... Um, I think that's it here. I, I don't have any more laptops. I guess an honorable mention could be my old laptop, which my mother uses now. It was a 2015 MacBook Pro. Um, I know I showed it in the last laptop collection video, which I made like two years ago. That was a Core i5 quad core. Yeah, eight gigs of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD. That thing still works perfectly fine. I just upgraded to this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of me showing my laptops and tablets. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a like. And a like. Um, I'm hoping to upload a phone collection video probably January. It's because I have a bunch of phones coming in and I don't want to upload something for that until I get those. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.